Hello everybody and welcome to a special episode of World of Warcraft. Today we are going to be doing the Dead Mines with this pickup group. We are not in a guild with any of these people. I simply found them in general chat. From the top we have a human rogue, a night elf druid, a human warrior, and a gnome warrior. I am a little worried about all of the melee. Now I don't know what the, the druid is. The druid, I guess they could be balanced, they could be ranged, but... Well, I don't know, right, right now we're just clearing our way to the entrance, so... But they're not turning into any kind of animal, which makes me believe that they are going to be casting. Alright, here we go, entering the instance portal proper. And we're not wasting any time, perfect. Let's see how these first few pulls go. I think for the dungeon I'm going to go ahead and put the health bars up on top of the enemy's heads. Normally we play with those off, but I think it's going to be very useful in here to kind of have an idea of how we're doing. Uh, I think that if I could get a second to look, this is an actual upgrade for us. And I've also brought along 52 of melon juice. So that there won't be any question of being able to drink back to full mana. As you can see, we can run out of mana, so I'm, I don't want to help out too much on the DPS front right away, unless it's needed. And they seem to be doing okay uh, as far as DPS goes, so I'm going to focus on healing when we hit tougher enemies. We'll probably be using our wand quite a bit, just to add a little bit additional damage. I think everyone had fortitude except for the tank. It's nice that we're getting wool cloth in here because wool is exactly what we need to be working on our tailoring and we're not getting it from anywhere while we're questing right now.
Well, that was us wanding the wrong target. Maybe we should keep our wand securely in our belt. Could have been worse. It could have been an elite. I guess that one got away and came back. Van Cleef, pay big for your heads. Mm, I don't really want to heal because as soon as I do, the archers are going to target me, but we got to keep this guy alive, so... We will bubble ourselves. And just focus on keeping ourselves and the tank alive. We've still got threat on the one. Let's fade. Might as well throw out some wand DPS here while we don't have a, a lot of mana. Not the button I wanted. Alright, let's see if we can drink to full really fast here. Oh, uh, we can drink to full, but it doesn't mean the tank is going to wait for us. At least the druid and the other warrior are hanging out back here. Yeah, who needs mana anyway? What a crutch. I could remove that, but it would be a lot of be a lot of mana. I'll remove it for the rogue because slowing down their attack speed is gonna severely impact their DPS, but I'm kinda worried about the fact that I don't understand what the druid is doing. I, I swear I just saw them up there meleeing. in their human form, which I don't know why they would do that. I'm trying to think of a good reason, and I'm just not coming up with one. Okay, there's a Moonfire, good. Moonfires are good. But then after he Moonfires, are we getting any Wraths? It looks like he's just clubbing things. I mean, I could be totally wrong. I keep on that. I'm gonna go ahead and sit and get a little bit of mana and let him go ahead and explore this little dead end. And maybe he'll be alive when I get there. 
uh, to heal him with the mana that we need to heal him. Yeah, it's going to be a close one. That's right, we got these robes. Let's throw these bad boys on. There we go. We could complete that by putting our green shirt back on. Let's keep the brown one on though. He probably thought he wasn't getting a heal, but he did. Take this guy back to our friendly tank. We'll take the opportunity while he is mining to go ahead and refill our mana. I'm not a huge fan of add-ons, but in this case I'm kind of wishing I had a damage meter just so I could figure out what abilities the druid is using and where most of their damage is coming from. I, I would be pretty interested to find out. Uh, stylish green shirt. pulled aggro on that guy. Well, things are going pretty smoothly so far. And it's good because we're all at a decent level for this place. Nobody's over level. Highest level is the level 21 warrior who's not even the one tanking. So that's cool. I kinda want some mana for this fight, but it's all good. We'll just sit here while they fight for a minute and uh... And we'll press all the wrong buttons and it'll be all good. 
Lifesaver. Sometimes you gotta add some of your own suspense to something, you know? Like, if we click the wrong button enough, it'll make this seem more challenging than it is. We could probably have been helping out a little bit there. Well, no time like the present. Deflect gloves. Hey, look at that. Strength and intellect. We don't need that really at all. I can't imagine what in the hell I would do with strength on these things. No, thank you. Almost, though. Almost. I wonder if there's a reason why everyone has come back out here into the hallway. For this patrol. Fair enough. I guess we we're just getting the patrol, which makes sense. I mean, if you wipe in here, you have to run back in. The patrols are kind of annoying, especially if you accidentally run into them on your own without the rest of the group. Alright, some more non-elite trash. Ouch! Who's fireballing us and why? Let's fade a little bit. I know warriors don't really like a power word shield because it stops them from being hit and therefore they're not generating a lot of rage while that's going on, but... When you're taking a lot of damage really fast, you're going to get a power word shield. That's just part of our healing toolkit. Like, we have to use it on ourselves right now. I'm going to go ahead and hide over here for my dear life. And hope that everything works out. Our mana is definitely low. I can't cast that yet. Let's go ahead and try to fix that. Whatever the druid is doing, at least things are dying relatively quickly. 
I don't feel like any of these encounters are necessarily dragging out. I'd love to be helping out a little more on the DPS front, but we just don't have the mana pool for it, so the most I can really hope to do is wand. And that's if my folks aren't dying. That was a little strange how the frame size changed. We might hit level 20 in here. That would be interesting. Um, wait, where did he go? Did he jump down? No, he didn't, but... Maybe we just weren't paying attention. Maybe he ran off on his own. We were all in the other room. Medicine Staff of Arcane Wrath, don't need that. Metalworking Gloves, don't need that. Alright, alright. We're still winning stuff anyway, even though we don't need it. Leather with strength on it. I, I mean, yeah, I guess if hunters are doing a little bit of melee, it would make sense to need some strength, but it's so weird and contrary to what you might think. to the owl. Those would be good for a druid who's trying to cast. That spell isn't ready. Don't worry guys, I'll clean him up. I wish we could get the killing blow on some of these guys. Oh, we did! We triggered Spirit Tap. That's great. Yeah, we have we have Spirit Tap, but obviously in a dungeon, it, you're not getting that killing blow. It's kind of five points wasted when you're when you're healing, but it's a leveling dungeon, so we're not going to be able to spec our character strictly for heals and expect to be able to level through the game, unfortunately. That's just not how Classic is designed. I like how he's pulling them back up here. I've, I've seen tanks try to fight down here and end up pulling all kinds of adds. I mean, you don't really want a bunch of adds in Classic. Pulling an extra group is a good way to end in a wipe. Oh, we got a couple more here. He's pulling them all the way back. 
I was stupid enough to be casting a heal during that, so I'm gonna stand by the tank. Usually you don't want to be throwing a heal when the tank is trying to pull the enemies back to where he wants to tank them because you're going to immediately draw aggro, uh, which means they'll start punching you in the face instead of the tank. In that situation, you run to your tank and you hope that he gets them off of you. Like right now, I'm going to hold off on this heal. I'll th throw a heal on the rogue. I wish he would let things kind of die for a minute. We could really use a little bit of mana. I'm not sure that he's really paying attention to that. We got a runner here. That's going to cause problems. I have a mana potion. But I was kind of hoping to be saving it for later in the dungeon. Alright, after this we have to quickly drink before he pulls anything else. Still recharging. There we go. I hope he realizes that everybody's at kind of low health and his healer has no mana, but he doesn't seem to realize this. He seems to be ready to continue pulling. It's okay, in a minute we'll be ready to keep healing. But we're gonna wait until he gets them on him. Make him wonder if he's actually going to get a heal. We see that the druid is starting to cast heals for some reason. That's thoughtful of him. Now we have regrowth on us. Or rejuve, rather. Really got to stop those ads before they pull anything else. I'm just going to drink again. We have plenty of melon juice to basically waste. It's going to be helpful to be at full mana just in case we pull something unexpectedly. Despite him kind of wanting to set a quick pace, we've been pretty good so far, so not really anything to complain about. I have had worse groups in here, that's, uh, that's for sure. When you have those runners and you don't have a real range DPS, it gets hard to take them down before they reach help. That's still recharging. Everybody gets two. Looks like we have aggro on this engineer over here, unfortunately. Somebody's got him off of us. I see DPS standing for long periods of time, I'm confused. I'm also looking at this warrior and they, they seem to have a sword and a, sh a mace and a shield. And they're lagging, that's even better. That explains why they were standing still at least. It doesn't explain why they are DPSing with a one-hander and a shield on. And don't get me wrong, I love the uh, protection warrior spec, but... Going into a dungeon with it as a DPS, I mean, it works, but 
It helps that they're level 21, so they're a little higher than most of the enemies in here. It's just that usually, even if you were a prod spec, you'd probably just throw on a two-hander and deal some damage. So this is some kind of boss, Gilnid, or, or mini-boss. pants of stamina and spirit. Right. Well, hopefully now we can get all of our mana back. This tank likes to set kind of a quick pace, which is definitely respectable. We can do it. We have the DPS for it. We just need to make sure that, that we have the mana for it. Okay, you're getting a shield. Maybe now I'm getting a shield just to make sure one of these guys doesn't start smacking me in the face. I could pick the lock. Must have been a locked treasure chest. Well, a locked chest. Whether or not there's any treasure inside, that's, that's an opinion, I guess. I feel like 70% of what we've seen drop uh, has been leather. a decent time.
Hey, spirit tab. We should probably start trying to pick up those weaker guys. Parrot cage. What the hell is that? Using this item will bind it to you. Alright, let's hold off. Is this some kind of rare thing that we got? Parrot cage? Does it just summon a pet, basically? Another situation where I could use a little bit more mana. Hopefully we'll be able to drink after this. Let's get a big heal off for him here. He's going. He's just not not really caring, I guess. He does not care about our mana problems. Apparently. Well, at least the druid is throwing some heals out there. That's basically what's keeping the tank alive. Let's get mana. Let's get all of the delicious mana back. Looks like we've had a few of us level in here. That's cool. Uh, uh, speaking of leveling... Well, we have two talent points somehow because apparently I haven't spent my last talent point. We're grabbing the rest of improved wands and then, well, we're probably going improved power word shield, honestly. Mr. Smite. I can't cast that yet. The druid overreacts. He's like, the tank's at half health. The healer isn't going to I'm gonna heal him after he's land lovers are tougher than at I half fought. health. I'll have to improvise. In classic, you don't really need to focus on keeping everybody at full health all the time. In fact, if you try to do that, you're gonna lose you're gonna go oom more often than not. That's still Oh, no, you're making me angry. At least we got him with a renew before we got stomped. Smites Reaver, one-handed axe. 
Not something we can equip, but pretty cool. I like how it looks. It actually looks pretty wicked. Oh, we're pulling again. That's very surprising. deal decent damage because I, I just can't afford to not use power word shield on him. It's just such an integral part of our toolkit that it, it just seems wasted when he is taking a crap ton of damage. And I don't think it pulls aggro the way that a direct heal would do. I'm wary about even throwing up any Shadow Word Pains because I know that he's going to want to keep pulling really fast. Like Exhibit A where he's not stopping between pulls. I power word shield for a minute and with a renew on him, it, it gives our regen some time to kick in. This druid though, he, he can't leave well enough alone and focus on hitting people with a rolling pin. So, you know, to each their own I suppose. Uh, we've pulled a few things. Still, overall, this has gone pretty smoothly. Oh, he must have forbearance on him. Nature spell damage? Well, that's not going to help us. I'm gonna take this opportunity while he runs ahead into the unknown to go ahead and drink up. We're doing okay. I think if we keep using Power Word Shield like we are, then just kind of using our wand to add to the DPS. It's not a bad tactic. The warrior probably hates it because, like I said, he's not generating a lot of rage if, he, if he's not getting hit, but better safe than dead. is going, but he's not getting away that way. I can't cast that yet. Maybe we'll get at least half of our mana back before he runs up there. Like, both of your casters are drinking, man. Let's wait for one second. Okay, yeah, that's great. That's good enough. Let's go.
is just taking way too much damage from all these guys to worry about doing anything else besides keeping him alive. And if we can manage to do that, I will be surprised. Our DPS needs to focus on getting some of these guys to actually be dead. And not having everybody sitting at basically... Yeah, he's going to go down. So, well, that's really great. Here, go hit somebody else. Maybe now he'll let us get our mana back. At least when he's dead, he can't pull anything else. The one time we really could have used more help from the druid. <laughs> oh, all your is broke. Oh, that's great. See, we repaired before we came here. So that, you know, if we wiped a couple of times, which would be kind of normal in a classic dungeon with a pickup group of people you don't know, that our gear wouldn't break. So it's really cool that um, now we have a useless member of the party because not only is he not going to be able to tank but he's not going to be dealing any damage which you know if his stuff was already breaking could explain why um he was such low uh health and resilience and whatnot nobody has fortitude sad big heal here it comes get ready for it back to no mana but you know we didn't have to just Throw a fort on everybody. Somebody please get this bird off of me. Goblin male leggings. Hey, we have a bear now, the bear. Careful. Yes, the first time someone uses a word of caution. Careful. It is time to be careful. We have somebody whose gear is irrevocably broken, so... We have a rogue who's taking some mobs now. And now more than ever, we're probably going to have to help out with a little bit of DPS, because this could slow down drastically. But we're almost at the end, so... I'm not going up there. That's for sure. <laughs> Someone with heavier armor than us is just going to have to go first. To the wheel. We're not going to the wheel. Perfect. Well, I'm not going to let them die. I don't think we pulled too many. Usually if you pull like too many, you can go over to this wheel and eventually they will reset. I don't feel like that's necessary for what's happening. I don't know why the warrior panicked, but hey, if all my gear was broken, I might panic a little bit too. I guess we are worried about pulling these guys who are pathing over here. Like, like it looks like that's what the worry is. And if we were to pull them, I think then we could run down to the wheel and they would reset. Oh, I hope we're going to be really careful up here. 
And I really hope I can just get full mana back. I, I don't know how this is going to go if all of this guy's gear is really broke. We'll see. Until then, I'll be hiding over here. Oh, ever then everyone hides. Oh great, let's all hide. No, somebody actually has to like tank the enemies. We can't just all hide back here. Okay, here we go. Somebody besides me, please get aggro. can't equip stabs yet, but we can get the Darnassus pretty easily. So whoever needs that. Oh uh, yeah, that would be great. I'll take it. Like I said, we just need to get over to Darnassus to train stabs. We haven't been there yet, but if we can get to Menethil in the wetlands, we can take a boat. And then we'll practically be there. Alright, last boss. Here we go. Full mana. Everything's good. We'll put some armor on ourselves just in case we end up taking some hits to the face, which is entirely likely at this point. None may challenge the Brotherhood. I don't know how much I want to heal the tank, the warrior who has like a bunch of broken gear. That doesn't seem like it's going to be too beneficial to anybody. help from the druid if we're gonna get through this but uh, I don't see that help incoming we didn't have a lot of focus fire there on our enemies yeah we can leave him dead that's totally fine the brotherhood I don't know why we're splitting our DPS like this it's not the best thing we could do but I guess if you're just worried about getting the boss down we survived the encounter. It looks like we're going to survive. Hey, at least that's that's zero wipes. And we got an awesome staff that we, now we just have to get over to Darnassus and get trained up in how to use it. Looks pretty cool. Alright, we can, uh, we'll resurrect here. We won't leave him hanging, even though all of his gear is now totally broken. All right, and that concludes our run of Dead Mines. And actually, I had done a run before this that was not even nearly as successful, and the group wiped about four times, despite having a couple higher level people. We had a higher level mage. But yeah, that's it for the Dead Mines. We're gonna go ahead and get out of here. 
And apparently there is a back way we can get out. That's interesting. We didn't do cookie. Is that a thing? Oh shit. Well, okay, we're not done. We are doing another thing. Uh, we're fighting Cookie. That's fine. It's only one more fight. We have mana, surprisingly. And I guess that would make it a full clear if we actually defeated all the bosses, even though he is an optional boss, it looks like. In retail, he just kind of pops out, and then there's like this whole cooking pot mechanic. I love the rogue tank. It's my favorite thing. He's doing a damn good job of it too. There we go. We've defeated Cookie. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, I'm happy about that, but what can I say? We got a lot of loot in here. That's what I can say. And I very much appreciate that. A staff and a wand? And I was just thinking about the fact that we needed a wand upgrade, so that is getting equipped right away. And I guess we can get out of here. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. Let me know what you think of the run. And take care of yourselves out there. Take care of each other. And we'll see you here in Azeroth again real soon. Bye now.